Hey my loves, it's your girl Miss Maria Xuxa here. You guys come on in the room. Um it's Monday. Um I just want to do an early morning um talk and motivation. So come on in the room. I'm let, I'm I'm allow a couple of seconds for everybody to come on in the room. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey. Come on in the room. Come on in. Hope everybody's doing all right. Wonderful. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. Um no matter what you went through last week, let all that negativity, let all that drama go. This is a brand new week. It is a brand new you. You are wonderful. You are special. You are created for greatness. And do not let anything define you, whether you're gay, trans, black, white, Hispanic, whether you got a job, unemployed, whatever you're going through. It does not matter, my loves. You are all so wonderful. And I, I'm going to say this. If nobody else today has told you this, I love you. I love each and every one of my loves. I love um, the love you guys have been showing me. I love everything about it. We should be in a season of joy. Okay? Stop letting someone steal your joy. Stop letting someone steal your happiness. Especially when that person is not doing anything for you. Okay? Spell it when anything. Here's the thing about it. I've learned a lot of the people who want to be so negative, who want to judge you so much, who want to... um always say what you should and what you shouldn't do are always the people who don't have any input in the the daily um values or routines of your life okay so stop that who are we got here let me look now and say hey hey um i'm at chick inspired daily nicole hey yes man tall drink i love you too boo i love all of y'all um i love everybody um and I just want to, I just came on here just to inspire you guys. Um, if you have not voted yet, um, make sure you do early voting if you can. If not, still go out there and um, vote on um, November 3rd. Also, you um, if you haven't done that, you can do your mail-in ballot. Um, it's just very important that we, um, we realize and represent in this election because this election means more than any other election in any other election effort because um, it is literally Trump or America. And people love to say, well, you don't like policy. To me, it's not even about policies. It's about human decency. It's about um, just heart, having a heart and a love for everybody. Um, I never, I, somebody the other day told me that, oh, you should vote for Trump because he's going to do what's best for you. As long as Trump has been in office, as long as Trump has been there, I've never even seen Trump, not once, acknowledge the epidemic um, that we're going through with Black Trans Lives Matter. He doesn't even acknowledge that. Understand this, 2020 is going on the year as, excuse me, it's going on record as the most deadliest year for transgender and non-conforming people. And most of those are black trans women, black and brown trans women, um, and gender non-conforming people. And the thing about it is, is how can you expect for me to vote for someone who does not see me? Understand that, sis. Sis, how am I supposed to vote for somebody who don't see me? Okay? So we have to, we have to um vote. Also um what else what else is going on? Oh um and I think Kanye was talking up something about Issa Rae, um, um saying I hope I pray for her. Here's the thing about it, honestly, I've been with Issa Rae because one thing about Issa Rae, Issa Rae has always been room for everybody black. And I'm and, and the thing I gotta say I gotta say this, I am so sick and tired of. I'm so sick and tired of black women being disrespected, being talked about, um, not being protected. It is all, and the thing about it is always these so-called men, like, for example, like Brandon Tatum. He gets on my nerves. He straight gets on my nerves. He loves to say, 
if if he loves to say, oh, oh, Michelle Obama disrespected her um her legacy, and he's made fun of um he's he, he's made about ten ten videos on Breonna Taylor, and the thing about it is, the thing about it is Breonna Taylor. You have to understand this. All those people you came to, I guarantee those million subscribers. If I go through them, I guarantee you, I will be lucky. If I found 25% of them, Brandon Tatum, that are your color. Just because you have a problem with black women doesn't mean you have to disrespect black women. He's made so many black women. He even made a video talking about some, why, he, why he stopped dating black women. And that's the thing that pisses me off so much. The thing about it is, I, if you date outside your race, I have no problem with that. I have no problem with interracial marriage at all. But I do not like when a black man will go date someone else and then will bash a black woman just because they're not dating them. If you choose to date outside your race, baby, that's your choice. I'm happy for you. But don't disrespect black queens. Don't disrespect black queens just because you date one. Black women um, deserve respect. Black women are queens. Black women are tired that's what's wrong they're tired and one thing about it in this election trump gonna find it out because he's gonna get voted out he's gonna get voted straight out because black women america appears tired but, but let me explain something to you. people can say all oh, they're stereotyped that all black women are angry let me tell you something when a black woman baby mm, 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 mm. when a black woman is tired when a black woman is fed up, baby, mm, baby, she can accomplish so much. She will unify so many people. Baby, that is a, that is a vibe. That is a work ethic. That is a sense of, of that. That is just something, baby, you don't want to, you don't want to deal with black women woman when she's angry when she's baby when a black woman is angry baby a black woman can accomplish anything anything baby and trump is going to definitely find an election election and to all and if i have any black men out here i gotta say this also um stop using the stereotype that all black women that all black women are just angry all the time and not so much they're angry they're just tired black women are tired of getting passed up for certain positions of their white counterparts or their quote unquote male counterparts. Black women are tired of having to be mama and daddy because daddy just want to make an offspring and don't want to take care of babies. Oops. Did I spill some kind of tea right there? Did I spill some tea? I'm sorry y'all if I did. Black women are tired. And honestly, they deserve, they deserve rest. Honestly, if I was president, people would be mad at me. You know why? Because honest to God, I will make it a national holiday. I would make I will make black women make, a national holiday for black women. Sure would. Yep, I sure would. Make it a national holiday. I sure would. Make a national holiday. And I bet I get that bill passed. Bet I get it passed. Love you. Who are all on here? I'm just talking today. I'm just, hey, my loves, how y'all doing? Hey, I see y'all inspire, King, Keisha, I see y'all, I love y'all. So I'm just in here venting, um, just talking about some things out, um, about black women being tired and voting Trump out. Um, um, another thing I'm so sick of, I'm so sick and tired of this Tory Lane and Megan that I'm sick and tired of that. I'm really sick and tired. And the thing that pisses me off so much is that, how can I put this? So many black men are more concerned about Tory Lane not going to jail than they are about Megan, are you okay? Megan, what's your mental health? And I said this again, and I, I said this over and over again, and I say it till I'm just going to keep saying, saying it. I don't care how much y'all say, oh, he loved him. He no, Megan loved him because Megan could have said something. I don't agree he may have had to love her. Understand this. If he really loved her, why did it take him so long to speak? People are like, well, he didn't want to speak. No. It, 
you saying not guilty ain't going to affect your court case no period. Now, if you talk about certain events that went on, yeah, that can affect it. But it took nothing and would have hurt him nothing to say, hey, I'm innocent. And then not only that, Tory Lane, if you claim, if you claim you love Megan so much, so much, question, I didn't see anything about don't blame Megan. Y'all stop getting at Megan. Because let me tell you something. When a man truly loves a woman, if he truly, truly loves her, even if he mad at her, even if he not with her, he not gonna let near other man respect disrespect her. Come on, now, now y'all, if y'all know, if y'all know that's true, y'all, y'all throw me some thumbs up. Throw me some thumbs up. Please throw me some thumbs up. Because y'all know that's true. If a man, if he really loved Megan, if he really, really loved Megan, he would have took the social media something. He'd have said, "Hey, I don't care what we, I don't care what's going on. Do 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 not bring this hate towards Megan." Because see, let me tell you something. To you. When you really, really deep down inside love someone, somebody can get on your nerves. You can be like, "Ooh, this Negro. Ooh, he getting on my nerve." But let me tell you something, sis, and every black woman in the room know this. If you really love that man, you can be mad with him. You can want to slap. You can want to kick him out of anything. But if another woman come at him, oh, baby, tell me you ain't going to have his back. You're going to have his back. Because you know why? Black women tend to have the backs of black men way more than they do than black men have the backs of black, um, backs of black women. Black men do not protect black women the way that black women protect black men and it is so true it is no lie these are not these are not um opinions these are not anything these are things that i've seen through friendships and family and different things of that nature this is so so true we need to stop with all this nonsense we need to protect black women okay we need to vote trump out because there, there's an epidemic of black trans lives that are being murdered. And another thing I got to say about black trans lives matter. Um, our president has not once acknowledged that 2020 is going on record as the most deadliest year for transgender and non-gender conforming people. Not even acknowledge that. And let me explain something to you. And I don't care. This, I don't care who gets. I don't care who sees this video. If you are a member of the LGBTQIA plus community and you're vote for Trump, you seen you, you, everybody seen the Boondocks? Y'all know Uncle Ruckus. You, you you're an Uncle Ruckus, or you're an Auntie Ruck, Ruckus. Period. Because Trump don't care about LGBTQ people. Trump don't care about trans people. He only care about black people he can keep around that's going to push his agenda. I.e. Candace Owens. I.e. Brandon Tatum. I.e. Hodge Twins. I.e. Silk and Diamond. I.e. that whole b Lex movement. Oh, it's black people coming from the plantation. Nah, baby, seem like to me like y'all still sitting in the house on the plantation. Hmm. Hmm. Just saying. Keeping it real. We have got to make sure that we are doing what is necessary to make our lives better for ourselves, better for everyone we know, and just better for um better for everybody. I love you, my love, for starting this live. Um, I will be right back in a few seconds, and we're going to continue this conversation, okay? I love you, my loves.